God bless you, men of the Resurrection Center. I want to welcome you into the new year and uh, be blessed in this happy new year as we talk about your encounter with God. Your encounter with God was already prepared before you knew it. Did you know that? Let's discover this more in Psalms 139.13, where the scripture reads, "For For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I'll read that again in Psalms 139.13. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Now understand this. God has a greater purpose for you this year, and we see it in Acts 26.16. I'll read to you Acts 26.16. Now get up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen and will see of me. I love that scripture, and that's in Acts 26, 16. You see, God was working in your life long before you began working with him. Understand that. The Lord knew you before time began, and he knew what he wanted to do with your life, what he wanted to do with your life. We also see this in the stories read in the Bible. Check this out. Before the Apostles Paul conversion, that experience he had, and it was on the road to Damascus, Jesus already knew Paul and had a specific assignment for him. But Jesus only revealed this assignment after Paul's conversion, as we learn in Acts chapter 9, verse 15. So misguided was Paul originally that in his sincere efforts to serve God, he had actually been waging war against Christians. That's true. That's the persecution efforts that were underway before God had an encounter with the Apostle Paul long before, long before. Although God knew what he wanted for Paul, he waited to reveal it to him until he gained his attention. That's right, attention, and became his Lord. That's right. God's timing is when he has your attention. Did you hear me say that? God's timing is when he has your attention. That's what happened to Paul. It takes longer if your attention strays away from God. For Paul, God was able to produce the encounter when Paul had the attention that was needed. Understand this. God does not come to us to discover what we would like to accomplish for him. That doesn't happen. God encounters us in order to reveal his will and invites us to be involved in his work. An encounter with God requires us to adjust ourselves to the kingdom of God and the works of God that have already been revealed. Your encounter with God is when you make the choice to pay attention to God. God's already paying attention to you, but one-way streets don't work. God knows what you need. We don't. When our attention is on God, then the encounter with God is open with revelation. God never communicates with us merely to give us a warm devotional thought for that day. It's so much more than that. God never speaks to us simply to increase our biblical knowledge. Again, it's so much more than that. Our Lord, Father God, has far more, much more significant things to reveal to us than that. When God shows us what he is doing, he invites us to join him in the work he is doing, that God is doing, not the work that we're doing. You see, it's all about God's will and the work God is doing. That is where our attention needs to be. Again, that's how the encounter happens. Check the story out. It's in the Bible. We were talking about it before. Paul was traveling to Damascus to persecute Christians. This was an earlier time from what we typically know about the Apostle Paul and what he is best known for. What happened was Jesus confronted Paul. And Paul yielded and asked, What shall I do, Lord? Did you hear what he said? What shall I do, Lord? That's what Paul asked. Paul didn't ask, what will you do, Lord? Paul didn't ask that. 
he knew that the foremost question to be answered was, what shall I do, Lord? It's all very well to talk in terms of you and we and they. Paul later wrote, we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Each of us shall give to God an account of self. We see this in Romans chapter 14, verse 10 to 12. We won't be giving an account of someone else, just of self, our self. Are you prepared to meet God today? Let's do it together at the Bravehearted Men's Group at the Resurrection Center. Join the men on Friday, January 14th at 7 p.m. Our event is called Fight for Your Identity. God will show you. Join us, won't you? My name is Dave.